Friday night at Acrisure, the Firebirds scored 28 seconds in, held on to beat Milwaukee and grab a 2-0 lead in the best of seven. Here comes Timmy, joins us now. Up 2-0, are you surprised? No, not at all. I think uh, as the season or postseason has gone on, this team's gotten better each game. So everything that went uh, right or should have gone right the first two games did and uh, heading east up 2-0. Boy, on uh, Friday night, they jumped out to a quick start, 28 seconds in. And you know what? In the postgame, Cole Lynn said it was because of uh, Abby Carter. They said the, Ameri the, uh, the uh, national anthem from the American Idol got everybody jacked up. They were stoked. It was the only national anthem they actually paid attention to, he said, so it was pretty funny. And, you know, th that game Friday night, that seemed to me very much reminiscent of last year. Yeah, that there was that good energy, that good vibe. You can feel it. It was electric in there. There was you could. It was nonstop action, and uh, felt good. It was like, all right, we're back. This we can do this. Yeah, I mean, when they said it was sold out, I got to tell you what, it was sold out because I did the show. Yeah. And then came down there, so I always get there about seven eighteen. Mm -hmm. I know exactly how long it takes me to go to Country Club, to Cook, the Verner Road, and in. I got there. I am not exaggerating. There was no parking. Yeah. I mean, the guy, the, the parking guy said, go park against the curb. And I thought, uh oh, now, now we're talking. Yeah, are you sure? Am I allowed to do that? <laughs> yeah. You come out you with a boot on your tire. But yeah, they, they had mentioned that, I guess, um, maybe in the, about 5 30 or so, that they were going to run out of parking and they were sold out in terms of the parking passes. And that's a good sign. It's a good thing. All right, so now we got on Milwaukee for three yeah. on the road. The first one is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, I think they wrap it up there. You think? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I mean, you you were at the last two games. Milwaukee's a step behind. They can't keep up. They can't keep up with the Firebirds at all. And as long as they need their star goalie back, too. You know, Milwaukee's playing with their backup. So uh, whether or not he's going to be back for game three or four is to be determined. But uh, it's certainly an advantage. And we talked about it. The Firebirds, they cycle that puck better than anybody in the league. They're quick as all can be and Milwaukee can't keep up so and the thing about it is I think Milwaukee I, I actually think it's gonna go from chippy to dirty now yeah yeah, yeah. I think they're gonna get to that point tomorrow it um, game one had that had its moments and then game two for sure really started kind of getting ugly because uh, they can't keep up they're getting frustrated so they don't know what else to do they're trying to get in the Firebirds heads and Ontario tried the same thing and it didn't work so all right now where are you tomorrow night I will be at uh, Spotlight 29 Casino for the okay. viewing party. Uh, doors open at 4 o'clock. Puck drops at 5 since it's over uh, two, uh, two time zones the other way. Yeah. So it'll be at a 5 o'clock uh, puck drop here. But If you're going tomorrow, you better get there early. Yeah, yeah. people start lining up about 2.30, 3 o'clock. So. All right, yeah. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Let's do it. Okay.